Hey, welcome back. How are you doing? Hope you're well. This morning we've actually come out to Grantham because we've come to Screw Fix to get some edging for the uh, worktop in the kitchen um, because we didn't put any metal edging on it and Tabitha keeps catching it and it keeps pulling off the, like the, I don't know what you call it, the sticky stuff on top and the pattern bit. Um, it keeps pulling that off so we've ordered two of them to go either end we'll just pick them up now. Um, and now we've got to go to Vodafone store as well because I've been having trouble with my phone for a long time. Um, and basically I can't I struggle to charge it and stuff so I need to get that sorted out and I've rang them twice and they're supposed to send out a bag that I can send it back to them so they can fix it um, but I'm still waiting for that bag and it's been about three weeks so we've decided just to come into town and actually drop it off in the store and they can deal with it there um, because I definitely want that sorted obviously before we hit the road because we use that for like internet and stuff so that needs to be sorted as soon as possible. One more thing I forgot to say as well we're actually going to Halfords to get a side light bulb for the front um, because that blew and we need to get that sorted so we're going to go do that on the way as well. We managed to get two out of the three things we wanted to get done. Uh, we managed to go and get the edges for the kitchen so as soon as we get back to the farm we'll be fitting them. We managed to get the bulbs as well for the side light on the front which is that's a really good one. The only one I didn't manage to do was actually send off my phone. Basically there's been like a, a weird sort of error off because it's took three weeks and I still haven't got it. Vodafone's saying they've got it already when obviously they clearly haven't because I've got the phone. But long story short, I can't send it off um, and it's going to have to wait till Wednesday now before I can come back and send it off. So I'm going to have to come back to Grantham to go and send it off, which is a bit annoying because it's probably about a half hour drive away. So it's not super close, but it is what it is. I need to get the phone sorted out really before we actually leave. But other than that, we actually just grabbed some chicken because... We always love some chicken when we're out. And it's about, what time is it now? Half five. So it's half five now. I'm going to shoot back to the farm and actually try and install the curtains today and get the uh, kitchen side sorted out as well. So hopefully we can get them two things done. We've had quite a productive day. Right, back at the farm now. Sorry if there's a bit of wind noise. We can't help that. We're just out on the farm and obviously getting it a bit wind today. Um, but these are the actual like edges that we bought for the edge of the kitchen units they're obviously black so they should fit it nicely if Tabitha brings it round you can quickly have a look that's kind of what they'll look like I think they'll look nice and smart the only thing I've got to do obviously they hang over a lot so I've just got to cut down here shorten them down a bit and then file it down so it's nice and smooth so you don't catch yourself on it and um, then I can screw them in so it shouldn't be too long of a job hopefully um, so we're gonna crack on with it now because we want to try and get it done by tonight <laughs> Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the day time. That was a nice, quick, and easy job. Uh, it literally took 15 minutes or something like that. It didn't take long at all. Um, but they're on now. All I had to do was put an extra hole in because it only had two holes in it because um, I had to quit it short so I had to cut the third hole off and I had to make my own one. The only annoying thing is I haven't got like a counter sinker to actually sink the um, screw in flush so that screw does stick out a little bit but because it's black you can't really tell that much and you're definitely not going to catch yourself on it because you shouldn't be walking that close to the end of the cabinet anyway. Um, but that obviously will hopefully secure the sink like vinyling down better and tab won't keep catching it and pulling it off. <laughs> now we've sorted out the kitchen uh, and we've actually still got quite a lot of daylight left. We're gonna give it a go at fitting these creative covers, uh, window covers for the side doors and the front. Um, the side one's really easy, they're just magnetic, so I ain't really gotta do anything to them. Um, it's just a front windscreen that I've gotta actually sort out. I've gotta put on four press studs to either side. This should be nice and easy. I think you just literally screw them in and that's it. So we'll have a go at it. Um, hopefully it don't take too long, but we'll see. So these are, the windows let me actually just show you how they fit you're on the other side of the window so i don't know what the audio is going to be like but all you do with these is literally just shove them up i think so i don't think it's oh i don't think it's too hard to put off and you just literally place the magnets around and that is literally it you've missed a bit at the top have i yeah no it's just waiting a little bit baggy oh there we go no it's still missing at the top Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Hold on. Need adjusting. There we go. I can see it. No, see a bit on the right. What, there? Yeah. Oh, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> oh. I actually can't do anything about that. Is that better? No, there's a hole on the top again. What? Is she winding me up? No, there is a hole on the top. I can see daylight. Well, that will do you. <laughs> That's all she's getting. But yeah, 
<laughs> they only take a few minutes to put up. Literally, it's just quick and easy. So these would be a lot more convenient when we just pull up on the side of the road or somewhere like that just to stop for the night. And it only takes a few minutes just to quickly shove them up. So I won't show you how you fit the other side because obviously it's just the exact same as this side. So now, this is for the front windscreen. Yes, it's literally just four press studs, the exact same as they were for the side window. So I kind of need to figure out. There's no actual manual in these though, so that's not great. Unless it came in the box or something and I missed it. There's nothing in there. So what I'll actually do, I'm pretty sure you just fit them at the top of the line. There's a line that runs down your side pillar here. Um, and I'm pretty sure you just fit them at the top and at the bottom of that. So what I'm going to do is actually test fit the cover and then just kind of see where the press studs would go. Just to make sure that is the exact place because I don't want to go and screw into the pillar and then be the wrong place because that would obviously not be very good at all. As you might see in the background, we've actually fitted that side studs. It was actually really easy. I don't have a two mil drill pit, which, which is what they recommend, but I do have one and a half mil and that's worked perfectly fine. So all I've got to do is just drill a little pilot hole at the top and bottom of this like line. If Tabitha comes here, pass me the camera a sec. So this line here, this line, you just got to drill a hole at the top and at the bottom down there, just a little pilot hole, and then you just screw your little press studs into it. And make, yeah, make sure you use a hand screwdriver, not an actual drill, because apparently that was where I went wrong with that side window back there, was I used a power drill and not a hand drill. So yeah, and use a power drill just to drill two pilot holes, one at the top, one at the bottom, then get a hand screwdriver and just screw them in by hand. I've fitted these two on this side now, so that's all four fitted. I'll quickly show you how you put it up. Uh, literally, all you do is get the strap. Sorry about the dog. <laughs> all you do is get the strap, pull your sun visor down, hook this strap over that, and then press your studs in. And that's that side in. And then what you want to do is just kind of twist this around, just so it actually comes up, and then trap it in. Let's switch over to this side. Careful my rhubarb. Yeah. <laughs> and then do literally the exact same on this side. Hook it over, twist it up, push that up, push the press studs in. Oh, hold on. Might have you grab the right part. That's it, done. And to be fair, it does a really good job actually. And um, we'll we'll put the actual two side ones in now and then we'll actually jump in the back um, and shut the doors and stuff and see how obviously how much light we can see because obviously the sun's beating right into the front of the van at the minute so it'll actually be a really good tester at the minute now We fitted it a lot quicker than the whole three doors than we did the side window Yeah, well the, the two doors you don't have to actually do anything they come literally done, you just chuck them up like mag obviously they've just got magnets inside and you just chuck them up um, and the front it's literally just two pressers, top and bottom and um, yeah literally probably took five ten minutes again so to be fair all of them have been quite easy um so if you're actually considering buying these i definitely recommend them um yeah they seem like very good quality material and nice and thick they store down in a, like a really small bag which this this one bag um is smaller than just one of our actual reflective covers that we had for each window um so yeah so this will be a good space saver as well so as you can see you can just literally see two little light marks coming through the top or the front, that's it. So when you're actually inside, we've obviously got the back doors open at the minute, hence why there's obviously light in there. But if you actually shut the back doors and get in there, like if you look how bright and sunny it is now, it's proper bright, and I could actually go sleep in that right now, it's that dark in there. So massive thumbs up to actually them blinds, and they really are black out, and they actually fit really nicely as well. So definitely recommend them. So that's it for this video. We're happy we got them actually fitted up and it was actually a lot quicker than we thought. So we probably could have done them the other day to be fair, but we kind of was a bit lazy with them and thought we'd leave it to a day where we fit them on their own. Um, but yeah, really happy with the sides as well. So if you can quickly see, this is obviously how this side looks. So we've done both sides of it. So that's a good job done as well. Um, we ain't gonna do anything else now for the rest of the night. We're just gonna watch Jack Whitehall's Father's Day program. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that's what it is anyway. So we're gonna go inside the house and actually watch that with Tabitha's mum and sister. So we're gonna end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.